After about a 90-minute discussion, the planning board approved the elementary school building committee site plan. We're finding that it's going to comply. Uh, the only discussion that we had on the letter is, is on the on the poll, which would be different. We're finding it complies. We're also defining the exterior lighting of which is number nine under N that this is not considered a recreational facility even though we have playgrounds. So just with the understanding that that this is not does not apply to that because it's a it's a school exercise yard as opposed to a playground, I guess. Any further discussion? Seeing none, how do you vote? Aye. 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 Okay, the last one is a vote to approve the site plan with all the conditions that Jennifer read and the applicant agreed to. So moved. Second. Further discussion? Seeing none, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Anyone abstain? Motion carried. School will be officially starting for most in Hopkinton next week. Kickoff events took place throughout Hopkinton schools. Hopkinton Middle School hosted their annual Ignite Orientation. Uh, the Ignite Orientation um, is a program started about 10 years ago at the middle school. And we have eighth graders that volunteer um, their time um, to mentor sixth graders. So the sixth graders that come into our school um, have eighth grade mentors that help them with the transition into the middle school. Um, it's great because the eighth graders get leadership experience um, that really helps them develop. And sixth graders, a lot of them you know, are nervous coming into a new situation, a bigger building, a new school, um, and they get instant eighth grade friends that have been here for a while. And we continue the program throughout the year. It's been really successful for eighth graders developing leadership skills and sixth graders making the transition. Center School and Hopkins hosted popsicles with the principal. This is our kindergarten popsicles on the playground. Students have an opportunity to meet classmates. We color code the name tag. So anytime they see a similar name tag, be it a school bus or pencils, they can introduce themselves, meet some new friends. And parents also have the opportunity to meet other parents. Kindergartners are, are new to the school system, most of them, and we also had many families new to Hopkinton, so it's a great opportunity to build connections. Elmwood hosted a scavenger hunt to help students better find various rooms in the school. So at Elmwood School we have an opening day event that is student-led. It's called a scavenger hunt. Um, students come with their families. They don't necessarily go into the classrooms, but they locate the doors. They find um, their spots, they, they, students who would like to are able to come in the front door, kind of manage, okay, this is how I get to my room, this is where I'll go on the first day. They locate things throughout the building, such as a mural in the gymnasium, there's a giant bug on the wall in the library, um, and it just gives kids an opportunity to reconnect with one another, to get sort of wrap around the idea that school will soon begin, and to make some connections with some faces at Elmwood School, so it's a nice sort of first step to the school year. And it's a steep tradition at Elmwood School to conduct it this way, so.